And here's the final scope. It's nice having a floor. Uh, this is a temporary focuser. I'm actually just finished the real focus that's going to go there. This is two inch in diameter. I have one that's going to replace this whole thing that's three inches in diameter. There's my six inch refractor on top. And I'm going to have a guide scope here. I'm working on the parts for that. The base. Deck. It's all computer controlled, so. So the telescope actually sits kind of off-center to your axis, your equatorial axis, your mounting axis. Say that again? Your scope is off-center? No, no, never mind. No, no. no. It's polar, absolutely polar line. I spent a whole night making sure it was using the drift method. Now, the, your control looks like it's in, I thought it was outside the dome. No, the, yeah, I have, well, I can control it from here. Or I can walk down the stairs and control it from the one room. Okay. Or because the whole house is wired, I can control it from any room in the house. Doesn't matter. Okay. Here it is before the cover's put on with the, looks like a ray gun, at least that's what all the neighbors call it.